Mental note, if you're going to get up early the next day to take your kids to school, probably best not to stay up till 2.30 in the morning playing Ghost Recon. Boy, am I tired. So I apologize if this episode is a little off, but then again, aren't they all? Anyway, welcome back, ladies and gents, to our Roma save. We are still in the first half of the first season. Uh, let's see the schedule. I have played a bunch of games offline for you just to get this this first half of the season going quickly so we can get to January, get to the transfer window. As you can see, we've been absolutely crushing it. Seven games, five wins, uh, and two draws, and still no losses on the season. Atalanta, 3-2 to two win. Lazio, 2-1. Leicester in the Champions Cup, Champions League, whatever. 3-2 to two win. I actually, that was a tough game. I, Leicester is surprisingly tough in this, uh, in FM17. I, I'm very shocked. Crotone, 3-0 win. Uh, that was a handy win. And you can see I brought Toddy and, and Tuminello in. Um, they were, everyone's getting tired at this point. I mean, early in the season, but you still have game after game after game. Uh, Juventus, we actually tied one all with Sala in the 19th minute. And then Palermo, we, we won 4-2, where Paredes decide, unfortunately twisted his ankle and went out for a little while. Uh, and then at, at Porto, we had a 0-0, we had a 0-all draw in the Champions League. So today's match against Bologna is coming up. What I figured I would do from here on, at least until the January transfer window, is probably play maybe one game through the month. Uh, so I'll play Bologna today, which is at the beginning of the month, and play all these offline. Play Dynamo Kiev uh, next, or for the next episode. Play all these offline, and then Genoa, and so forth and so on. And then we get to the transfer window. So we'll, I, I'm still not sure what we'll do for the um, for the transfer window. How many episodes that's going to take, or what we're going to do. But I, I'm also debating, do I do a match or two per episode, or do I just kind of continue the way it is? If I do a match or two per episode, that would get episodes coming out on YouTube quicker, so maybe every day or every other day. However, it also would, would slow the season down, so uh, I'm still kind of debating on how to do that. But anyway, let's get into this match. Unbox. Roma braced for a low turnout. Low turnout expected among supporters, only 39,500. And Stadio Olimpico has a capacity of 70,000. Wow, that's a big-ass stadium. But the Bologna will be backed by a decent number of traveling supporters with 700. 700 out of 39,000. Well, or I guess, is that 40,000? 40, anyway. But we're still firm favorites, so that's good. First match. So let's get to transfers quickly. I have been trying to bring in... You're not going to show, are you? Transfer center in. Really? Nobody? So, under 18. No, under 20. Free agent Armin Dalku. I tried to do this before the transfer window closed. Unfortunately, I had to pay like a, a 1.4 thousand euro expense somewhere down the line. Uh, so his transfer actually couldn't happen because I have zero transfer budget. And I couldn't do anything about it, so I brought him in. Um, yeah, you could see he's in talks with Roma, but I can't bring him in at all until January, if anything. And he's, I strictly wanted him as backup, and unfortunately, he's not going to do anything. Uh, he did, he, uh, uh, oh, ooh, ee, ah, he, where the frick is it? Contract. He was on a trial. He's on a four week trial with us. I was kind of hoping that I could bring him in for the trial and use him, or at least have him in our under 20s or something to get a better look at him, because I or keep him in the squad for a little while. But that didn't, you know, he's in on a trial, but I don't think he's actually playing. So yeah, you could see zeros all around. So um, unfortunately, he is not coming in at least right now. He may still come in if he's still available in January. I may bring him in because he's strictly he just wants to be a backup. And he wants a year contract with a, a second year option from him. So uh, we'll see how that works. Okay, so here we are. Team selection. Um, I'm actually the... Our assistant manager decided that a 4123 DM wide is the way to go. Uh, so I've got that coming in. Two Manello coming off a... Well, we resume full training in three days. Well, that doesn't help me. So, okay, this is our team for today. Uh, Allison in goal, Palmieri, Fazio, Manolas, Florenzi in back, De Rossi is a DM, Gerson and Nangolan, 
as the midfielders, Parati Sala and Jekko up front. Wow, they've got everyone back. So they're going to be going for the counter. Um, everybody get happy. Let's get going. Okay, Parati, Gerson, Jocko up to Nangolin, who has not, I don't think he's found the back of the net yet this season, or maybe he's got one. He's doing a lot of long shots and they're very powerful, but he's just not getting them on target. Why would you pass it back at that point? And then Allison boots it out. What is up with you guys today? Or should I say this season? Ooh, Destro. I forgot about Destro. I loved Destro. No. Thank you, Allison. There you go. Making up for it. But I loved Destro back in, what, 15? FM 15, I think. He was terrific. He was one of those wonder kids that just I couldn't get enough of. That sounded a little weird. Break him down. Garrison. Nice shot. Saved by Mirante. Mirante. So it gives us a corner, Florenzi shoots it in, and as usual, nothing happens. I've, I've got to figure out this. Oh, get it, get it, get it. Oh, that did not work. 66% tackles won. Wow. That performance was disappointing. So assertive. I'm disappointing your defensive efforts. Come on, guys. Does anyone need to come out? Uh, Daniel De Rossi, who I, I do remember from the beta is always tired even though we've been winning every game um, I've been using two or three different tactics either from whatever the assistant coach has been saying damn Dorasi you almost took the guy out but I'll either use the tactic that the assistant manager wants us to use oh so close Gerson and Jekko's looking like crap um so I'll either use the tactics the assistant manager wants me to use, uh, or I've kind of switched between, you know, a 4-2-3-1 or the 5-3-2 that I was playing with earlier. Okay, Jekko's out. So Toddy's coming in. Yeah. So I generally like to do 60, 70, and 80 minutes substitutions. I guess the Brandon Rogers School of Management. Sound out now. There's too many people over there. Pearson, come on. Move it forward, not sideways. And then go on up to Salah. We pass it to Gerson. Out to Parati. Who I don't know what the heck that was. Not a good shot, not a good shot. And it's cleared. Who do I have on the bench? Song. Strutman. I'll bring Strutman in. Um, Parati. 6-6. Six, six. I'll bring in El Shirawi. Do I go with the fourth? You know, I may actually try that. So everyone's good. So let's try it. Let's try changing it up a little. Uh, so standard goes to attacking. So let's see. Oh, and immediately it gets taken away. This could be a very bad move, huh? Manolis and Angolan. Tati. Tati. Angolan out to Palmieri. Shirawe. Oh. Hits the wall of Morante. But we still get a corner from it, and I still have not figured out the corners or the set pieces, any of the set pieces, so and, uh, and then going again. Get it a little closer to the box. I can say move it into the box. But right now it's you know four minutes left. I really do want him to shoot. Well, a draw is a draw. I mean I, I'm not gonna I guess I can't complain too much. So we got one more, one more play. Twenty seconds left. Uh, Strutman, 
to Rossi to Nangolin. Salah over to Palmieri. Who, I mean, oh, 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 so close. Strutman Morante is doing very well, though. I mean, these aren't the greatest of shots. Yeah, and that's it. Full time, a somewhat boring nil nil draw. We really should be winning these matches. So that's too bad for them. Yep, 7.4 Morante. So he really he really did a, a good job. Uh, 18 agility. Eh, yeah, he's 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 good for this level, but he's not stellar. I wouldn't say. Um, Salah, 6.5. Jesus. He's our key player. Leave match. Oh, well. Uh, so we did have more possession. 14 shots to 6. We, that actually... Okay. So this is what we're going to do. I mean, look at how the, how many shots and on target we had over them. And you could see from the... Whatever it was that let go to the tactics. From this 4-1-2-3 DM wide, we didn't have much. This 4-3-1-2, we got a buttload afterwards. So we are going to be sticking with this one from now on, at least for a little while, and see how things go. So, uh, hold up for a draw. Zid Zinedine Zidane. Zinedine, uh, Florenzi, really? You want to bring Florenzi? Okay, well, you're going to have to pay a shitload. That's a fine start to his Roma career. Really? He had a 6.1 in one of these games. Go to Allison. Where's that 6.1? Right there. And now it's the international break. So we're just going to let this play out. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm going to end it here. Uh, dismiss it, Florenzi. I don't think it's going to happen. No. And nothing. So. Uh, so the table right now. Inter jumped us by two points now. So we're in second with 15. Uh, we still have no losses on the season, but Inter don't as well. Let's see. What do we play Inter? Inter. Inter. That's not how you say it. We don't play them for a while. So, December 22nd. Uh, things will change drastically by then. But that is it all for today. I am going to stop it right here, play some more offline, and uh, we'll get back to you soon. Take care and enjoy.